Hi guys, so I realized I just jumped right in without uh, saying my disclaimer. So um, I will have affiliate links in the description box for the Spellbinders items. And that means if you make any purchases through those links, I will make a small commission. So uh, if you guys are ready, let's get to it. Okay guys, so I'm gonna get started with my uh, Spellbinders uh, Club Kit of the Month reviews. And I'm gonna start with a small uh, die. I usually go small, large, APG if I have it, and then the card kit. But um, so I'm going to do that. Last month I did a little bit different. But I'm going to start with this guy. And, and, you know, whenever I had shown you guys how to manage your club account, I did a video not too long ago. I think August 1st I did a video on it. Um, people had mentioned they were going to go ahead and skip this month for the small die because it wasn't their thing or, you know, different things. And it was kind of hard to imagine what to do with it. So whenever I saw it, I in my mind I thought Mandala. I'm not even worried about these little letters. I think they're very cute. We can use them for something else. But in my mind, it was Mandala. And Spellbinders in their preview was like... Paper piece all these little things back together, like even with this one. Like with this one, it'd be easy because once you paper piece, it's just the middle piece and then the outer piece. You can paper piece that all day. Super easy, right? Really cute. And then it has the little flowers that kind of coordinate with the um, large die set from last month. Was it last month? Yeah, with the letters. I think it was last month. Um, yeah, with the little letters that have the little vines and stuff. So it's kind of cute. You can probably mix and match that in some way. But I saw this middle piece and I'm like, that middle piece needs to be. Um, like in the center and then go out from there, like a mandala type thing. And so it's kind of funny when I got this, um, I had mentioned it to you guys in the review. I'm like, oh, in the hall. I was like, yeah, this is what I meant. Like, <laughs> this is what I want to do. I don't really, this is cute. This one with a few words, the one simple word. Some of their examples have like three layers of words and I don't like that look. So I'm going to do something like this, but I'm not going to do it with um, paper the way it's shown. But look how pretty. See, you can totally get a mandala effect if you really pay attention to these little... It's like a flower, and then these flowers, and then you got these lines. So we're going to do something like that. And just play around with it a little bit. And that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, again, something a little different. And you'll see what I'm talking about right now. I was going to do a shaker, kind of like I showed you guys how to do the shaker with the ornaments. The Crafters Companion Christmas Compendium ornaments, where you just kind of cut it into your paper. It makes a hole, right? Because it's whole comes out completely and then you can pop this back in and make it into a shaker on the back side of your card but um but today i think we're gonna do a little something different okay so let's get some paper and we'll get started this might be weird but i've done it before i'm gonna do it again we're gonna make our own stamp out of these guys so what i'm gonna do i'll probably cut all of them i don't know which one i want to use i know i need this center one ay ay uh, it's just hard for me to, to know what I want to do. We'll do these two. This one's really cute because it has like a little flower. Again, you can put the little flower pieces in here. But today I'm trying to do a cool like stamping. So that's what my idea is. We will see. So what I'm going to do is cut these out. Uh, see if the marquee will do it. If not, I might run it through something else. It is kind of small but very intricate. So we really need it to cut, <laughs> you know. So let me see. And you know what, let me add maybe a scrap piece of paper just so I know it really cuts through. So I'm putting that, I'm gonna put the paper behind this. And I'm just using craft foam. And let's see if this will, I really need that to cut. Nope. <laughs> Usually I can just pull it, but since there was foam in there, it's thicker. Okay, I think it, should have cut all the way through because it cut through enough to get this guy gone gone so let's get this guy out so you can keep these forever because um once you cut it out i mean it's nothing's gonna happen to this so i'm just gonna boop, 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 pop out every little piece and i'm gonna run through the same thing <laughs> on some uh craft foam both of these guys and I will be right back. Oh gosh, you guys, you know what, as I'm doing this, I'm like, there's so many ideas in my mind now, because I'm like, oh, you could use the part that cut out. I'll show you right now. Like this piece from this, or I guess just this flat piece, and um, color that, and then come back in with this on top. Ooh, I think we're gonna have to do something like that. I'm telling you, I just had an idea. I was like, oh yeah, we'll do that. Or, you know, I was like, well, I'll just make a shaker. I'm, I was thinking about it the whole night because to be honest, I was messing around with Craft Stash. I told you all day I could not get through on that good sale they were having. Could not get through, could not get through, could not get through. Finally, on my phone, I was like, you know what? I'll just uh, send them a nice message and see if I can still get, you know, the 30% off because their site was obviously having issues. And um, 
then I was checking on my phone and it kind of worked. So I'm like, oh, let me go down back stairs. I went back downstairs and the whole time I'm thinking about this. I'm thinking about what I want to do. So this is what I was telling you that you can piece this back together pretty easy if you're doing paper piecing. You cut out another one and this one all you do is pop that piece back in, right? So um, not hard to work with. This, if you were to paper piece, is going to be obviously more difficult. But you can also just put little gems in the spaces. There's lots that you can do with that. Let me clean up all these little pieces. Um, get this piece of paper going that we're going to stamp on and... Uh, get this going. I'm going to be honest, I don't really know what to do here, so we're just going to jump in. Um, where is my hair? Okay, you guys already know I like to stick these. I still have t tape on here from the last time I did this kind of thing, but I like to put a little adhesive down, and I'll take like this guy. Okay, I'm going to stick that on because we're going to start with the center. And you can definitely come in here and put some lines to find the center of your paper, but um, I'm just gonna eyeball it. <laughs> but maybe I should have a better idea where it's gonna be, hold on. Do I have a pencil here? I should have a pencil here. Nope. Okay, so this little piece of paper I cut is four and a half inches um, square. So, I think two and a quarter is right here. And then of course you want one, two and a quarter here. So this is like our center point kind of. What I'm going to do is just mark a little dot. Not that that's really going to help. Oh, but before we do get to that, I said maybe what we should do is do a little this. Okay, let's see what how this works out. I might have to do a few different stampings and we'll see what happens. Um, okay, I was going to use this ombre color splash thing. So you know what I'm going to do is dip into the yellow area and oh, you know what I'll just grab these little guys so you can do this with any ink I just thought this would be pretty because I can just stamp it up at once and then use it that way so I'm going to dip into this I think this will help and then just kind of eyeball it how you want this to work out because we're going to stamp in each one of these little pointy areas so you know, I'm just kind of eyeballing that. Actually, I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm going to dip into this orange area and dab, dab, dab. Cute. Okay, so we have that. And now I'm going to dip into more of the this deeper area. Make sure we got that on there. Okay. Now I'm going to eyeball this as I come down closer. And hopefully that works. <gasps> that worked better than I thought, but of course I got some ink over here. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to be more mindful of this. This is a total experiment, so I have no idea. <laughs> I was, even in my mind, I was like, I'm going to have to do this a couple times, I already know. Okay, so we're going to take this guy. And maybe that's where I put my sentiment, which would be weird. But maybe, maybe, maybe that's what we do. I put the sentiment across here or something. Um, I'm going to take this guy. And just stick it down wherever on there. And then the other one also. And I haven't decided which direction I want these guys to go. Oopsie. Let's let that guy relax a little bit so we can stamp him nicely. How about there? Looks a little bit crooked. Let me... There. Does that look better? It looks a little better. Okay. So let's look at these guys. We have one coming out of here. And we can do it that way. You know, so the little circles are on top. We can do it this way so those little circles go in and they're pointy on the outside that's why I like these two because they're very similar the other one has more a different feel so this would look different because it's gonna make like a rounded on the outside so we're just gonna play with it so I'm gonna take this guy and I'm gonna dip him straight up so from the deeper color to the lighter color if you don't have these kinds of um, ink pads just use two different ink pads ink 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 just so you make like a little ombre effect okay and I'm just gonna come in Oh, that was a little bit crooked. Aww. Okay, let's do it again. Again, I've never done this, so I'm just trying this out. So I'm going to leave that space for this guy. So we're putting it in every other 
pointy space. So I'll go there. Wow. Okay, I'm going to have to obviously try this again, but that's pretty. Leaving a space. Let's go to the other one. I didn't really know how big I wanted my paper either, so that's one of the things I was experimenting with right now. I'm going to keep dipping these the same way so that the deeper colors at the base, lighter color at the tip. And then I'll do the next one opposite, I suppose, just to make it a little bit different. Okay, so now this one, we saw the point down. You can also switch that up. You can make it so that it's this way. You can do whatever you like. Now this time I'm going to make the point be the lighter orange color and the tip be the darker. Okay. And we're coming here. This is fun. <laughs> I love it. I need to dip that a little bit more. Can you imagine all the different color combinations and things that you can do with this? So cute. Oopsie. What did I say? The tip was going to be lighter, right? I did that. I already stamped this. This is so pretty. I'm going to have to redo it. Well, I don't know if I have to redo it, but like I said, we need to cover that up. And then again, the tip here. Oh my gosh. That is so fun. And then you can just keep going, right? Like, you want to do the next one? Maybe put this guy here. Boom. Do a next another row or the other way or try out the other guy. I think I'm still going to add a little something, but I'm going to do it with... Um, oh, you have these, like, outer pieces that you can... You want to bring this in here? Look at that. <gasps> that would work, too. Because as long as it's the same, you're doing, like, a mandala, you can... Okay, let's do it. I'm going to remove this really quickly because I don't need it right now, but if you're careful with this, you can reuse this until it's not reusable anymore. <laughs> I don't know what that would look like, but... Okay, let me clean this off a little bit, because there's some ink. And I'm still going to use the same colors, but you can switch out colors. Yeah, no, I just don't know how I want them to be colored. Maybe just any old way. There we go. What I was going to do is cut another little piece of the um, these guys. That could be another little element. This little tiny thing and then just stamp it wherever you want because it just adds more, right, to your design. Let me clean that off so I don't start having an accident here. This time, like I said, I'm just doing a mishmash of color on this. And... We'll go here. Okay. I think I'm going to stick with this and I will put my uh, sentiment in this area here. So pretty. So this is where I can see I stamped this one a little bit off because this one had a lot of room and this one has very little room in the middle area here, but that's okay. We'll just put it down. And this one. Oh my gosh, you guys, <laughs> I'm not done. I was like, oh, where'd he go? But we need one here. Um, this can be so much fun. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think that's as far as I'm going to go. But again, <laughs> you still have all this room here. You can come back in with another set because it'll have that same kind of shape that you can kind of nest in. You can even match up the circles if you're really good. Boom, you know, match up the circles and go, keep going. I am going to be finished here. So this is a four and a half inch square. I'm going to take this little guy and just go around the edges just to finish up the card. And then what we're going to have to do is put maybe some little gems or something in some of the spaces to make it look a little a little more something and come up with some kind of um, uh, sentiment. Maybe we'll use the little letters. <laughs> Even though I said I was like, oh, I'm not really paying attention to the letters. I think that might be nice. Okay. Uh, let me get a card base and get some things to cut out some of the letters and we'll be Sorry done. Mess. There's so many combinations we can do here. Like, this is crazy. So I just went with something and we'll see what happens. But I think when I get off of here, I'm going to have some other examples for you. Can you imagine doing this in just all black or like blues and purples and like teals and, you know, pinks? And I, I just, I'm over the moon. All right. So this piece of paper is uh, five by ten. So when I fold it in half, I have a five inch square. And initially, and that's what, you know, 
I don't like to waste people's time, but at the same time, I know you guys like to see my process. I was just like, my process. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm gonna do a five inch square and I'm gonna put this little four and a half inch, you know, thing on here. And then maybe I'll do like a strip with like a, a sentiment, right? But then I was like, well, okay. So when I do the sentiment strip, I cut a piece of paper that's five by like three quarter inches because the letters are really small. But I'm like, well, that looks kind of boring. So then I'm like, well, maybe I should back it up with some color. So I have this orange piece and it's almost like the same exact orange, which is interesting because this is Recollections paper and this is Recollections um, ink. So that makes it matted it up a little bit better. It gives it a little pop, right? So then if we're going to do that, I cut a pop of orange for this. So there's still the strip that's five by like three and a quarter. And this one's still five by like half an inch. It's hard to, <laughs> I use the um, guillotine from Crafters Companion and it's really hard to tell in there kind of the sizing because just the way it works. Um, when you get to smaller than an inch, it's it's off the grid. So I'm just kind of eyeballing at that point. Um, okay, so let's put this together. I am in love with this idea. Because <laughs> I'm telling you, as soon as I saw the things, and I know a lot of people were like, eh, no, I'm going to skip this month. You know, I'm like, okay. Um, I mean, obviously everyone does whatever they're going to do. Uh, I don't try to convince people like, oh, you know, you should get it, you know. Never. Um, Hardly ever, unless it's like something that's just like out of this world. I'm like, oh no, this is a must have, right? Um, but uh, in my mind, I was like, oh, I'm not even gonna use it the way they're showing. I'm gonna use it more of a mandala. And this came together better than I had even imagined. Okay, so we're gonna put that. And then my little boo boo is here, and you can barely even see it now that I paint, you know, did that. But I'm gonna go ahead and put that down here because I think my strip is gonna go here somewhere. I guess you're. You can go anywhere, really, the strip that, you know. So I'm just going to do it like this because I like the way that looks. Um, that was kind of scary using the <laughs> dry adhesive for this one. I don't know why. So I'm going to switch out to this wet adhesive. You can make your own, like, coloring page or coloring card and then color. I just, I'm, like, thinking of all the different things. Okay. And it's just a little stroke of, you know, that, that little piece. that it, It's thing. It looks so cute. Okay, so let's do that. I'm going to also put this to the side for now because I don't need that at the moment. But I am going to do this. I don't know what I can do to try to get the kits sooner. Other than, you know, being signed up on the first. I'm going to try to contact Spellbinders. I don't know that that would help. But I know some people get theirs really quick. And then they only have, like... A handful of views because my YouTube will tell me, Do you want to watch this? And I'm like, no. Because I already kind of told you guys I don't like watching other people's videos that do the same kind of thing I do because I don't want ideas. And then it's just, like I said, it's a nail thing from the nail community. People are like, you took that from somebody or that other person already did that. It's like, oh, gosh. So I don't watch things unless they're from a company because a company video obviously is a little bit different. But, um, and they don't have that many views, you know, in the first couple hours. you think that people would just go watch it because they want to see. So I'm like, what is going on? I don't understand that at all. Um, okay, so I'm going to put this here. And then I think I'm just going to do the word hello. I don't know. So, um, or, yeah, I mean, what else is there? Dream, <laughs> you know, <laughs> inspire, create. Oh, create's nice. Or something like that. You know, I mean, there's lots of things you can put on here. I'm going to put it down here to cover my boo-boo, but... If I didn't have a boob, I'd probably put it like here. So, oh, maybe I should, maybe I should eyeball that differently then, huh? Oh, maybe the card's gonna go this way. No, that's fine. I kind of like it down there. Okay. So I was thinking about inking up some white paper just with the same oranges and like light colors and darker colors to give it like an ombre look, you know, just whatever, and then cut out the letters. But then I thought, well, we can make the letters nice and crisp. So again, cut them out with gold or cut them out with silver. I think that'd be really pretty. I have a white piece of paper here that I'm gonna use. And if I'm gonna cut out the word hello, I guess I need this whole piece. Uh, where's E, B, C, D, was it on here? Yeah, H and E are already here, so that's good. And then where are my L's and O? Okay. So I'm just going to tape this down and run through the marquee. So I hope you guys like this idea. Um, you know, again, I would love the shaker idea. That's what really what I was going to do. But when I woke up, I thought, oh, duh, why don't I just cut it out in foam and make it a stamp? But you can also not make them a stamp. You can just cut these out in um, uh, paper, obviously. And then you're just going to layer up your little papers the same way. But I think that's really fun. 
We could have also done a little dib dab dabbing with kind of like the way to the center with the other pieces, right? Dab, 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 and then you have color behind it plus on top. There is so much we can do with this. I am very excited about that. Make a border, a straight border, but it has like a mandala look to it. Ooh, I love it. Okay. All right, I need two L's, so. <laughs> I don't really care about anything else, but I just need my O. Oh, good, and they have places where it pops out. I know that's our pet peeve when they make it so that you can't pop out your letters. Okay, so we have O, E, L, O, and H, huh? H stayed in here because it's taped down. I am so excited about this one. Okay, this is really cute. Um, I need another L, so let me run this through. I'm gonna get another L and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna take this little guy. And of course you can run this through whatever. I like to use my little techy glue. And I think what I'm gonna do is start with the O. <laughs> so that way I build it that way. So I'm just gonna turn this around, put a little techy glue on this. I need to fill this up again. And I would use a, uh, what's the thing called? A little tweezer. But I don't feel like bringing one out. So I'm doing it backwards so I don't run out of room if I'm not in the right place. And I do want it to line it up kind of nicely, but if I was concerned with that, I would have used a pencil to kind of help me line up. You can put it in funky if you don't want it to be perfect, if you're afraid of <laughs> maybe not lining it up. You can always make it like, do, 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 you know, here and there. Make it have some personality, but for this one I want it strictly straight if I can get it. The... These are small letters, not too bad. That one's a little bit high, huh? Oh well. I <laughs> like that one's a little bit high. There we go. E. These are really cute the way it cuts out too. You can use this for a stencil, you know? Um, just make up your own little kind of thing and then stencil that for background papers. I think that'd be really cute. How far am I from... Not too bad. I can see this L is the one that's giving me problems, but okay. You can also just put down a ruler and make sure that you stay with the bottom of your letters on the ruler. And then that's a pretty good way to know that you're straight. And here we go. All right. And I think I'm gonna pop dot this a little bit. I think that's fun. Hopefully you guys like this idea. I know I did this kind of recently with um, some other things to do a background, but I think for this one it works especially well. That's really fun. Because my card opens this way. Again, if you want to switch, change your mind and have your card open this way, you know, up and down, that's up to you because it's the same <laughs> all around. And I'm gonna stick this down. And I was mentioning putting some little pearls or something, um, you know, on the little circles. You can put like a little gem that'll dress things up or maybe just some uh, Nouveau drops or perfect pearls. Is that what they're called? <laughs> Liquid pearls, perfect pearls or something else. Um, I think that's really fun. I'm trying to put this right here. And maybe I will put some, a little something sparkly. So I made this so that it would go all the way across because I like the um, the look of the colors, right? The black going all the way to the edge. But if you don't like that, you can cut it shorter. Uh, the same as the orange or however you like to do it, obviously. I just thought it'd be pretty to run it across. All right. So that's that for now. If I add a little something more, um, again, it could be maybe some Nouveau drops, maybe some little rhinestones. I have a ton of them. Oh, you know what would be nice? Let me grab this up right away. Okay, I think that what would be good is this Imaginis eye top tool, but it's not called eye top. This one's the eye rock. Um, I was gonna mention I have the same batteries in here since forever, but I just realized it was on the on for some reason. 
And so I think it's actually still working because um, if you hold this down, see that little light, it turns red and lets you know it's ready to go. And all you do is put your little um, guys, and I have these orange ones, I think that'll be great. I have orange and yellow ones, oh darn. Anyway, I can put them there, heat it up. Or we have these little ones from Hobby Lobby, they're like silver and gold. Pop those wherever you like. Again, Nouveau Drops, whatever. Gems from your Crafters Companion kits, you know, all that kind of fun stuff. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll have the links in the description box. And if you have your kit coming or already, then I hope this is another idea that you can use with that. But yeah, basically, I would just put these down, put it in its place. Oh my gosh. And then you just put this on top. And it kind of starts melting a little bit. Let me even put that right in place. And you just touch it. I don't think they make this anymore. They still sell the little jewels though. And once you feel it, it starts kind of like running. It starts like getting jelly under your hand. Oopsie. Then you're ready to go. But that wasn't it. <laughs> that was not ready. Let me do that again. Anyhow. So you just wait for it to heat up and it melts the, um, the glue. Basically is what I mean. Alright guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you all at the next one. <laughs> All right, bye now.